guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test server on our free to play account and we are picking up the new hero guys. That is right, we are picking up the trial version of Aziz, meaning that we are going to try him out. Looks like an absolute monster guys. I love how they built him out. Now some of the skills guys, Nightmare Descent, of course this is his ultimate ability, um, produces shockwaves on the field which is going to allow him to do some extra haste on the field which makes me think that when it comes to the Twisted Realm, when it comes to a couple different formations, um, he's going to work really well with this because of this ability. Now, Depths of Darkness, of course, this is going to mirror a position on the opposite side. So we have to make sure when we're setting him into lineup exactly where we are putting him. Mind Flay is going to cause insanity. Also going to allow you to terrify the enemies, which is going to be crowd control. And then this seems to be not only a primary damage with the Nightmare Arc, but it is also doing a considerable amount of crowd control as well and losing energy, which is awesome to see with him. Guys, it, it seems like he is going to be a very, very strong hero to pick up. So there he is. They did get us built out a little bit. I don't have all these heroes to a plus 30 signature item. So unfortunately, we don't have them all built, but I, I'm thinking like mirroring the targets it's going to be kind of important, like even if we put him, let's say, with um, Lyca right here, I, I think it's going to be really cool. Because remember, guys, he is a mage, meaning that we are going to rely on his damage. We could see multiple alts with Rose. Again, we're really just testing him out here. I don't know exactly how well he is going to do. We need somebody else kind of on the front line to tank. We have Damon in here. We have Grez in here. And SP, you can see right here. Um, the Awakened skills, it's very cool that they added these guys. So acti activate an Awakened skill. Every 10 seconds of battle, Aziz enters a dream state that allows him to become immune to all damage and control effects for 8 seconds. That's right, guys. Totally immune. While in the dream state, he gains normal casting abilities and he gains 20 haste and his damage is increased by 25%, which is going to be insane. Each time he enters dream state, the amount of time needed to enter is increased by four seconds. So after the first 10 seconds, it's going to take 14 seconds, so on and so forth, adding four seconds there. And the amount they stay in the dream state is decreased, but will not be fewer than four seconds. Each time an ally hero successfully resists control effect due to the tenacity. Now, I'm not sure exactly stacking the tenacity if this is going to make a difference. It seems like there are going to be very specific heroes that he is going to excel with to allow this dream state to actually stay up a little bit. But it's again, it's very cool that they did put this in there. We're gonna slow it on the battles, guys. I wanna see what he's kind of going to do because we're almost to the 10 seconds here. There's the alt, boom, so 10 seconds. There's the dream realm. So we pick him up in the dream realm. And I know, again, level deficiencies here, not too crazy, but look at the damage, guys. 96 million damage there. Which I, I know the rest of the team not really producing very much damage, but it seems like with the crowd control that he possesses, and I was kind of running through a, a couple different lineups or a couple different heroes in here, and it seems like adding him to crowd control comps, possibly putting him in with like a Leonardo da Vinci, maybe Baba Yaga, um, a couple heroes that are going to provide some solid crowd control in here. I think would make a really big difference. So even there, guys, look at that. Nomura got froze right off the bat. You can see all three of these heroes got hit with the arc that we had right from the beginning, enters the alternate state, and takes out all of the enemies there, guys. It's kind of crazy, but I love how he targets the hero that is opposed to him. We'll swap him in the middle. We'll actually have him do the same to Shamira. So looking here, Shamira gets slept right off the beginning, guys. So it is crowd control literally right off the bat, which is awesome. The arc does a lot of damage right there. You can see, I, I believe it entered, there's the state realm with the ultimate ability and just doing an incredible amount of damage out of here. He looks so cool too. Look at like the glow over him. We got a lot of shielding here in the back. I wanna see exactly, took out another target there. Look at that, guys. Locked out from Shamira. But see how he kind of goes crazy? Like, he kind of goes uh, purple in there, which he got taken out. But let's see the damage. See, 89 million there, 139 million from Aziz, guys. It, it seems like 
might not be 100% reliant on the damage that he's doing, but adding in probably a couple other heroes, especially with this formation to add a little bit of crowd control, like Pharrell, because remember, he has an energy disintegration. Um, Pharrell does possess an energy disintegration as well, which there we go. So we got the fear up. Again, burning out the energy is going to really mitigate the shielding factor that we have. And we should have put Arthur right in the bottom. But he is so cool looking, guys. He's absolute crazy. I, I think there's going to be a couple formations, a couple heroes that he is really just going to absolutely shine with. Um, which is going to be cool to see. That, that Dream State is such a cool ability. 109 million there. And of course, we start getting into the multiple stages. Um, let's swap out Ainz. And you know what? Let's go ahead and we will drop him in. Now, who do we want him to target? Ideally within here, um, probably Pharrell, just because we do want him to relatively take him out quick. We also do have a star in here, which is going to provide us a massive damage reduction. So look at that, guys. Crowd control off the bat. But look, he got crowd controlled. That is awesome. I wanted to see if he could get crowd controlled, which he did, but he actually appeared right back where we left him. Boom, there's the alternate state. And I like the arc that kind of goes right between your teams here. 95 million, again, just seems like he is going to be shelling out some damage, guys. And again, I, I know test server, we don't have the best formations within here. Um, not really ideal, but let's go ahead and we'll clean up the rest of these battles. All right, so pretty easy to get through the rest of those multi-stage, I mean, with the level deficiency. Now, an, a couple other things that I was thinking is he could really make a presence in some other formations, um, including like an all Negrez formation. I could see that working very well just because he is going to destroy enemies with that ultimate ability. Um, popping him in here, maybe in addition to Silas, possibly swapping out some of our crowd control. But it seems like some of the teams that he could work and really shine with, I, I could see it really working even here, guys. Right off the bat, the crowd control is phenomenal. I, I, I mean, I, I know it's not Athalia doing damage to targets, um, but even if you add it with Athalia, even if you added it, let's say, with a Nara, um, you could crowd control a majority of everybody. So even right here, we want to take out Oden really quick. Then we can actually swap Nara, which we could add crowd control, crowd control, crowd control, just to allow this front to scale, which again is going to be kind of crazy to see because boom, slept right off the bat. There we go. The arc is going between the heroes right here. Um, you can see it actually bouncing around a couple times. And he is just very, very cool looking, guys. Look at that Damon pulling his weight, which I love to see. But 42 million for Aziz. Um, again, I like seeing him in the formations, um, especially, be, I wonder if he can do it to Flora. That would be funny if he slept Flora right off the bat. Nope, so nothing to Flora, but there was the arc. It actually went on Rigby. Um, so we know he, he can't affect Flora. That would have been definitely a really big cheese in there. But with the level deficiencies, again, it, it's we need to make a lot more progression in here. Um, definitely want to see what he can do when it comes to some of these formations. And I love being able to just move him against the target, guys. It, it's such a cool feature. I could even see possibly running like an Ulna and him front line, like running him up here. Um, just to allow him, again, to completely lock down targets and giving him that immunity. Just waiting for that alt, guys. And look, he turned the bubble purple. And there's the alt, guys. It does so much damage with that shockwave. Some of the interesting things, guys, is even looking at the damage he does, um, putting some heroes in there that are going to allow him to do more damage or even do it more on a frequency, um, like putting Rowan in there, putting in possibly the twins, running a couple different team comps. Again, I could see it really, really working well because his ultimate ability, guys, 
just kind of reminds me, you know, similar to a Scarlet, it does a ton of damage, guys. It, it does a ton of damage. And we only got a plus 29. When he suffers from a control effect, source of the effect is put into a nightmare state up until they receive a maximum damage equal to six of their maximum health or 20 seconds have passed. So again, we're going to have him significantly built out, guys. Super excited to see him and test him out. It is very cool to see um, exactly what he can do, especially when you do have him built. Now, the big thing to remember with these heroes, guys, is just like we've seen before, um, they are very dependent. So he is missing some of his skills and abilities. So when you're building him out, it's actually um, very important to build him all the way to the engraving status. Because if you do not, he is not going to have those skills and abilities. And you'll see even here with my Taylene that I have here, um, we're missing a lot of the skills because we don't have the signature item, we don't have the furniture, and we don't have the engraving. So to really prop these heroes up with the Awakened heroes, um, you have to have a very significant investment in these guys, um, which not only is it kind of expensive to build them out with the Temple of Time emblems or the Temple emblems, and of course, I was hoping they would bring back the exchange where we could swap Stargazer cards for um, the Time Emblems, but unfortunately they did not bring that back, so we're not going to be able to see it. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Very cool to see Aziz in battle, and as always, thank you guys for watching.